it's Julie and Pete from Rush the Bus, proving once again that Pete has great nostrils for an MPA. <laughs> um, but also we're going to let you know that if you have a patient with a large impaled object or they've got swelling, you can't use an OPA or a BVM to properly ventilate the patient and you're not able to nasally intubate in your system, you can actually use an NPA with the end of an ET tube. I would say place the end of the ET tube first because that is going to be tricky to get on and you don't want to do that once you've already like put the MPA in a patient's nose. You're going to come in here. The BVM to the end of the tube and ventilate. Now, if you feel like you're getting any leakage of air, you can cover the other nostril. And remember, you're going to ventilate with the patient's own breathing. Unless they're not breathing at all, in which case you're going to breathe for them.